welcome back for the next episode of Apescape. I'm tangentially close to dying. Last episode, I failed at hitting that. I even hit it. Anyway, I got a life which I stocked up on. All we need to do is get back up there. Because luckily, it. No, what do you mean, luckily? You have to do everything all over again. So if, if we have to go to the cutscene again, I have no wonder. It's just getting up there, which is a pain. So I'm going to cut out, cut out getting up there. So um, yeah, enjoy that. Oh, rage. Broink. 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 Um, you glitch through the wall. That makes logical sense. Sorry, I'm keeping this in. I can't bother cutting it. There's parts in the end of the walk where you think less work is needed to make it right, unless you're a card in which they blow out everything on your final few episodes. No, I tend to do that too. It's just... I don't know. I tend to, when, when I'm not supposed to be talking, I tend to say it's really good stuff. <laughs> so I end up putting the cutted stuff in. You see me. Oh! oh, come on now. I'm getting slow with this. I think the problem is when you play other games which involve hitting weapons, you often forget, you often recalibrate your mind to the lag in that particular game. Because each game has different attacking lag. I mean, that's seen by playing Soul Calibur. I mean, I guess I'm pretty used to Soul Calibur now, which isn't good. Get on your ball. Get on the ball! Yeah. The way which can keep you safe is by doing that. Sorry, it can't, but I remember it. This is deja vu! Come here! Bitch got halfway home. You see, my hit it, but nothing happens. Anyway, I will we'll go down for cookies in case I need it. But they don't respawn cookies! Owned in the face. By myself. Excuse me a second while I go go get some cookies. Oh, that was lucky. I'm pretty sure he remains the health he was at before, so no worries there. This is the worst time to fall down, so what, the Sky Flyer is there, in case you do mess up. Because messing up like that is not nice. Anyway. Seriously? Come here. I've never had a problem with this depth perception, perception fail. He didn't hit me! Oh, yeah, 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 get your balloons out, fag. Anyway, this is where you can get back some stuff by, you know... There we go, let's go get some- Ah! Um... Trade fail? Okay. Is that it? Do I get to hit you now, continuously? Um, no, you're gonna get your weird multicolor balloons on me again. That's that, that's, that's a great game. But that's a phrase I love from HD Bailey, because you, you, you do tend to use it by accident without trying. You just go, yeah, that's a great game. Because that's how you feel. Oh god, HG Bailey's a legend of legends. Now, I wouldn't advise doing that, that's just like, I'm a pawn, so I'm going to spin around when I do my shit at the gym. God, I shouldn't really be swearing. This is a child's game. Anyway, boink. Oh! And I glitched the game. You're not meant to do that, by the way. Anyway, let's hit him. Ha ha ha, fag. Why am I failing all of a sudden? Anyway, it's fairly simple to dodge him. He just, he will roll into a thing, but whatever you do, you can't kill him. You must get him to roll into somewhere in particular. I wonder what that, where that could be. Well, let's find out. Phew. <laughs> Thanks for helping me, Spike. He's not dead. You've become very strong. Have I? It's the power of your mechanics, Professor. Ooh, I love the sarcasm there. No. Well, a little bit of that. Power alone isn't strength. Spider-Man? It is only a part of human strength. You have truly become stronger. He basically means you become more you manly. Think so? That sounds so complicated. You gotta remember these are only kids anyway. By the way, Spike, you haven't found Buzz or Spector. No, they're right. off um Yeah. Okay. I will return to the lab. And fix the equipment. If we don't hurry, Spector may mess up history again. If that happens, it will be too late. Too late you indeed. You should continue to search the amusement park. The amusement park. Be careful. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for saving me. Oh. I'm so glad to see you, and glad to see you're safe. You've gotten stronger. Okay, that was um. Off Thanks the to blow. your gadgets, Professor. 
No, the gadgets don't contain any real power. No, they don't. It's, it's just made them for the able to use them. The true power is inside of you, Spike. You've grown. You've Disney. learned a lot, and you've truly become stronger. You think so? Thanks, Professor. But I don't feel any different. By the way, Spike, have you been able to find Spectre yet? No. Okay, I'll go back to the lab and fix the equipment. If we don't hurry, Spectre may change history forever and destroy us all. What a shame. I'm afraid there isn't much time, though, Spike. Maybe you should continue to search for Spectre in the amusement park. No shit. It could be dangerous, so promise me that you'll be careful. I will. Okay, let's get back. Sorry about that, I was just checking my computer. I need to constantly check to see if it's recording. I have this sometimes, sometimes my computer is a bit stupid about that. And the recent forced upgrade of Windows Live Messenger has not seen my computer being any better in stability. But anyway, let's um, go on to the coaster part of the exercise. How long have we got left? Three minutes. With the cutscenes and the fail added in, yeah. I'm just going to take you around the back and then we will save the rest of it for um, later on. So yeah, let's just do this bit quickly. For those of you who are used to seeing big gaping holes and things disappearing now, yeah, that's just a part of this game. You kind of get used to its inherent lack of... Oh wait, what the hell? I thought there was something else here. Obviously not. There's something around here which requires you to use... Aha! I got confused with where I was. But there's nothing around here which gets you any token or anything yet. I'm pretty sure there's a... Yeah. Jump, rebounding off things which you can't usually rebound off. That's that's fantastic. Get no... no oh, idiotic mistake. Dump. Anyway, at the end of the next part, I will... Uh, in the next episode, I will tell you about the monkey colours. Um simply because it works best, or I'll have it in a bio box at the end of this episode. Um, actually, I've got time. So yeah, um, there's going to be a small bio box explaining to the different short colours, not pants, I'm not American, and we'll meet you in the next episode of Ape Escape. See you then, guys. And here we are, late in the walkthrough, I know, I know, I know, and I apologise, but here we are. This is the explanation of various things on the monkeys. Now for the... Now you will have noticed the peak point helmets which all the monkeys wear, which they stole back in episode 1 or 2. Now the peak point helmet um, for the monkeys will tell their emotions. If it's blue it means they're calm, they're relaxed, they're not going to really hurt you, but that's because they haven't seen you. Um, orange or amber is when they're alert, and they have seen you or they're just really alert. Some monkeys never go to green, sorry, never go to blue. They'll always just be angsty. Um, and then you have red, which means they're just really aggressive. Um, they're they're panicky. Some of them are just blindly aggressive. Some of them will stay red even. As you've seen, they just aggress all about the place, just angst all over the place. Um, those are the ones to watch out for. Usually the um, usually the usually the black panted shorts, and so yeah, black shortage, black coloured shorts. Sorry. Um, so let's go through the the um the short lists. Well. You can learn the monkey's personality by its shorts. Um, yellow is just a gen generic basic monkey. Um, there's nothing really, there's nothing of anything to to express about it. It doesn't have any spe special personality traits. Light blue means they're gentle, so they're less likely to clobber you over the face with something, um, but they'll just you know wonder about. Um, red means that it's a very strong attacker. <clears throat> blue means that the monkey is a fast runner. As you've seen countless times, those monkeys run quite fast, and you have to do quite a bit to catch up with them. Um, white means they have excellent balance, which is good. Which is good for them, bad for you. Because if you hit them, they're less likely to topple over, which is what you want to happen, so you can catch them. Um, green means the monkey has strong vision, which means he'll see you from further away, which is really not nice. Those are monkeys with the big, with the missiles mounted on their backs, with the technical guys. Those are usually the ones equipped with that sort of weaponry. <clears throat> and those are the green ones as well. Black ones are basically just trouble. Um, they're a major attitude problem, quoting directly from the guide. Um, and they usually wear shades and carry weapons. And they pretty much kick ass. So you really want to watch out for those. That's basically it for the monkeys and stuff. There's not much to describe about them. They're just generic monkeys, really. Um, I say that phrase too often. Well, I'll see you in the next episode of Ape Escape. 
where we'll um, head off to to see what's through this maze. Um, uh, we just have to jump in the roller coaster, I suppose. We'll see you in the next episode when we do jump into the friggin' roller coaster. Friggin' hell, Odeon!